How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this unboxing and review of the Puma training shoes. These are the PWRs in the second editions. Um, very, very comfortable to wear. And currently as we're talking right now in this video, especially it's coming to Black Friday this week, make sure to grab yourself a pair if you're looking for um, some shoes that are for the gym, using it on the um, cardio machines in the gym, treadmill or just going for a nice 5 to 10k run outdoors these are the ideal shoes for you the main reason also is the original price is around 110 120 euros or pounds and currently on the puma website and app they've gone down a half price so you can get these for about 55 to 65 euros or pounds so make sure to click below on the links below in this video and grab yourself a pair if you're looking for some really comfortable um, and nice running and training shoes in the gym. These are definitely the ideal ones for you. Now, of course, we're talking about the material um, and the comfort. It is very, very good and very comfortable straight out of the box use. And it gets even better after the first week of using them. Once you've gotten used to the shaping of the shoes and the materials have softened up on the upper, it's just a very nice, all-inclusive, all-round uh, performance-based training shoes that can be taken, as we said, for the gym or just going for a nice jog or run um, on, on the weekdays or the weekends, during the day or at night, in the evening. These are the ideal ones for you. Of course, if you're planning to do long distance, then these aren't the ideal ones and it's better to go for ones that have a bit more foam in. So do have a look on the Nitro Charge running shoes that we've done an unboxing on a few months back. Um, they're much more focused for long distance runs or marathon runs. Now in terms of sizing, we're just gonna give you our recommendations so you can order the right ones, or you can order two and then return the one that doesn't fit you as well from the Puma website on app, or go to your local Puma store. So for narrow to normal feet types, we just recommend going true to size, your usual Puma footwear sizing. Um, if you don't use Puma usually, just go for your usual footwear sizing and it should be nice and comfortable for you, shouldn't need to alter or change any sizing. For wide feet, we recommend a half size up, um, just to give a bit more space in the midfoot and toe box area once you've done up the laces. And the same applies for very wide feet. Also, just go a half size up. Um, if you find it to be still too snug and tight, then just go one full size up. You could order both pairs and then just return the one that doesn't fit you as well um, for these ones. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below in this video in terms of uh, if you have a pair of these yourself in this colorway or another colorway. Um, just write down your reviews, feedback pros and cons, what size you went for, and what feet type you have, as your comments have shown to really help out viewers watching this now or in future reference, make a decision to see if these are for them or whether they should go for a different pair of training shoes. But from our end, we highly recommend it. Um, it's a very nice and all-inclusive sports shoes that can be worn, as we said, for running, gym, and even some other sports like tennis and badminton recreationally. But thanks again for watching this quick review and unboxing. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe. And we'll see you next time for another unboxing or review in the near future. All the very best and take care.